Last today, I don't want to take up too much time, probably talk about the latest watch that I've got. And this guy, let's bring that one up. This is called a Rebellion Wraith Drive. And most people who know anything about watches, they're going to go, a what? So even if you go to YouTube, you're not going to find much about Rebellion. It's kind of what makes it cool. To give you a bit of background, Rebellion is actually a Swiss uh, racing company and uh, they race in Le Mans. So they make these cars Rebellion. And anybody who knows anything about cars will go, oh yeah, of course, Rebellion. The Rebellion crowd also make watches because they're in Switzerland. They've got some of the best machinists on the planet that make their cases. Their case constructions are fantastic. I've got three of them. Uh, this is my most recent edition, the Wraith Drive. This is a this is about a seven, eight thousand, yeah, about seven, eight thousand dollar watch. Uh, so it's not terribly expensive in the grand scheme. What makes this watch stunning is how they've machined the parts of this watch. Uh, even if you just look around the dials, uh, it is absolutely stunning. And the most impressive thing about the whole watch is the second hand moves as a wheel of a car. So instead of just having a single movement. Uh, with a, with one single hand, you've got this whole wheel that moves and it keeps saying rebellion. F me, that is the coolest thing I've seen on a watch. I'm I'm pretty sure. Normally, the other two pieces that I've got, they are their own in-house movement, and so they they are a little bit more pricey. Um, this one is an outsourced movement, probably the most reliable outsourced movement on the planet, which is the Valju 7750, um, made by ETA or ETA, once upon a time part of Eterna. Anyway, so, so this is the workhorse of the Swiss watchmaking industry. So you've got an ETA movement, Valju 7750, which means it's a chrono. You'll always know uh, how, how the chrono works in a Valju 7750. This is 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 a value 7750. And interestingly, I've got your, your start and stop button or reset button, your start, stop, reset button, your start, stop, reset button, your start, stop, reset button. And the way you know that it is a value 7750 is two ways. Firstly, um, when they are inverted, so if you take the two next to each other, when they are inverted, so you can see your start button is there. Turning it around, you, you know that the start button is going to be at the bottom. Uh, and the reset button at the top, reset button at the bottom. Same with the with, with the Graham that I've got. So that's cool about the Valju 7750. The other thing that's cool is the noise. They are the loudest watches on the on the planet. You do this, and all you hear is ha 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 inside of the watch. It's quite cool actually. They all have the the same distinct noise. They only have one flaw, and that is if you wind it 30 times on the winder and then you start moving the watch a lot, you can break the mechanism. So a value 7750 or, or this particular watch, I'll only ever wind about 20 times when I wind it up uh, and then my arms movement will, will take care of the rest. What do I love about this piece? Uh, this mesh bracelet, which looks like it's metal, is absolutely stunning. The, the aluminium uh, construction of the deployment clasp is one of the coolest things I've seen. You can see this is an engineer that's designed it. Just, it's so light, it's so crisp. Um, the, it, it, the way it clips, the whole thing, everything about it is, is, is really sexy. All the things that uh, Rebellion make is really sh hot. Um, the, the case is done very well. Uh, I'm not the world's biggest fan of titanium cases. I've got two, this one and the Aorus over here. Um, they're very light. Uh, it's probably one of the reasons why I don't have a Richard Mull, um, because Richard Mull make extremely light cases. I don't want to pay $80,000 for something that I can't feel. You know, this thing I can feel, this thing I can feel, this thing I can really f***ing feel. Um, this one you can't really feel that well. In, in, in any event, um, I, I don't mind because I actually like the case construction. I love the fact that it's not quite round, but it's not quite rectangular um, or not quite square. It, 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 it has sort of an odd shape about it. But yeah, that's my, my newest piece. I try, and, I try and buy watches for color. So I realized I didn't have a watch face that's white. Um, and I didn't have gray. So, so the white and gray was missing out of the collection. And so I picked this piece up um, in Japan actually. And, uh, and I thought it would work perfectly with one or two or three outfits that, that, that I've got. And I'm doing a photo shoot later with this watch, with that particular outfit. It really works. 
awesome. That's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope that was interesting enough and uh, I hope you enjoyed some of these pieces. Do comment uh, or send me a message if you have any questions about any of these watches. One thing I say is anything I buy, I do a f load of research and I know my onions when it comes to the stuff that I buy. You can ask me about the movement, reliability, investability. Because I work in finance, uh, one of the things I really, really know is, is how to invest in something and I'll tell you whether something is, is worth, worth your money or not. Or if you just want to have a comment about what you've got, what are my thoughts? So um, anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed. Cheers.